Hi guys. So, a uh, real, real quick video here. I was messing around with the um, port command, Pascal, which I'll throw up on the screen how that, that works, but basically it lets you write to a specific location in memory. And in this case, um, we can also use it um, to address the serial port directly on the MBC2. This has some advantages. First is um, you can send those control codes to the terminal um, directly without using the CPM BIOS. So what I've done is I rewrote my original line draw program using the new technique. Um, and I kind of wanted to show you the results. Uh, so it's running as fast as it did with the joystick hooked up. Uh, this is because we haven't done any delay. Um, but you can now pull in input from the key keyboard um, without any issue. And that's due to the fact that the way the port command works is it is directly writing to the TX pin the ASCII characters one at a time using this procedure right here. Um, so that it will uh, bypass the BIOS completely, the CPM BIOS. Um, number one, it's a little faster, but number two, the CPM BIOS is no longer tied up processing each one of those control codes, which can become incredibly numerous when you're doing graphics on the MBC2. Uh, so you can now pull input from the keyboard without any trouble at all. So that's kind of a nice thing um, if you don't have a joystick port or you're looking for a way to pull input in from the terminal. Anyway, I'll upload source code just like I did the last video um, so that you guys can look at the technique. Um, it's not very sophisticated, it just simply uses the port command to directly write one character at a time to the TX pin on the computer. And you could very easily rewrite this uh, program to work with the traditional SIO if you wanted. Um, it would just take some finagling with this port command, you would have to change the way that you uh, address these arrays. Um, um, so that's pretty much it. Um, kind of enjoying messing around with this stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments to try to answer them. I'm not a huge expert when it comes to some of the older stuff, um, but I might be able to point you in the right direction. Also wanted to mention uh, there's a small update which now allows for a flashing cursor um, and also uh, increased graphics performance. Um, so you want to check that out. Uh, head on over to the repository for the Pi Graphics Terminal. Um, Christian, Christian's been busy again. Also, not directly related to the terminal, I did pick up these three TI-85s at Goodwill uh, for three dollars. And as you can see, they're in rough shape, but I'm wondering if you guys would be interested in seeing me clean these up. Um, it is Z80. Uh, this one in particular has the uh, passive DisplayPort adapter um, for the overhead projector. Uh, 
So I thought that was interesting. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll uh, hopefully see you guys soon.